every time I start a video, I feel like I'm supposed to be like one of those high energy YouTubers who's like, Welcome back, folks! Blah de blah de blah! But that's not me. I'm quiet. So, okay. Hello, internet catchphrase. Um, I'm gonna do another translation challenge. So, let me show you what we got for today. So, in the past, I have tried to translate um, some Aesop's fables, and I figured maybe if I try to retranslate them now, without using my old as a reference and then comparing them, I can use that as, as a little bit of a quality check. And uh, hopefully that works out. So, I have four stories written at the moment, and they're up on the Laudon Library repository, so it's a repository you can download. But it's not like hosted very cleanly on the main website, so I need to kind of like uh, update the website more and make it just like better to navigate and faster. But um, for now, we're just gonna look at translating this again. Um, so I have my lot on version, and I already pasted my English part here, and I know I have some translation notes. So we're just gonna play around and try to translate it a second time and basically see how close they come out. Um, so maybe we can come up with some better kind of interpretations of things. I need to fix this website. This is not adequate design, Rachel. Okay, well, every time I always open up at least the dictionary and the wiki book because I like to have my grammar reference, and I like to have my dictionary. So, we are starting off with another story. So this is once, a long time ago, hypothetical. So let's go ahead and start this again with bid. Speech act. Copy that, paste it there. This is a narrative. The three uses for everything. And then the tense we can also use. Really, 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 really. Uh, just like that little red hen story. So I am declaring in narrative once, hypothetically, there was a lion sleeping in a forest. So let's say a lion slept in a forest. Let's not do like, there existed a lion who was sleeping in the forest. Let's just say once there uh, a lion slept in the forest. Forced. Forced. Now our first problem is that there's no word for lion. So that's going to be something we'd have to add to the translation notes and kind of um, mess around with. Add as like just add like a footnote or something and in here I have that here there's no entry for lion I used sun cat originally I don't know what else do you think of when you think of lions um, let's also look at the etymology of lion let's see where the word lion comes from what does lion mean anyway I have no idea Oh, it means figurative hero, Leo, lion. Nee, 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 nee. Whale. I guess we could also think of the word like brave, brave cat, big cat, sleepy cat, fuzzy cat. I used sun cat because the mane reminds me of the sun. More like a sunflower. Um, let's see if there's a word for brave. No. Um, I don't know. Just big. You could just call that a big cat. Rahia. Which is just means not small. So it'd be not small cat. I don't know. Sun cat's okay, right? So we'll use um, lion equals roche. A rule, sun, cat. So, it was sleeping. To sleep 
we need to find that. We can use one of these. I don't know why some words have multiples, uh, but we'll just use on. So sleeping was what the lion was doing in a forest. So let's see if there's a word for forest. Yes, there is. Olin. And again, we need the marker for location. And again, I always forget whether it's ha or ya. Uh, ya is time, ha is place. Eha. And hypothetical, wool. Okay. One time there was a sleeping lion in the forest. So what did I put here? Bede arrow. I guess I could have used real really. Anna Rosharo Olene Hawo. Yeah, I did the same thing. Okay, so maybe you can um it doesn't really need to be Evril, right? Like I think real really works a little better. Okay. A mouse ran through the grass and she found the lion. So I know in Ladon there's a path marker. Uh let me see if I can find that here. So you can say like I am going home from the office. I am going through the park. I'm going through along the river. So we can say go through the grass. So let's look at um, to run. And we'll do this properly and use the past um, tense like the red hen was. So you may mouse. What is mouse? I'll need to use this word a lot. So mouse is edemid, a grain animal. So edemid, mouse ran. Let's look at what I think hesh is grass. So we need through the grass. Um, this one is wele, wele mu, heshe mu. Um, yeah, here's ish hoth for park, through the park. Okay, so it ran through the grass. I found the lion. Or find. Don't autocorrect my eyes. Okay. Redeb. Be. She found the lion. Um, so let's say. Rosherul eth. And everything's hypothetical. I'm not going to add another wool at the end. So this is the object. We have the ETH at the end. This is our lion word. This is third person singular. So she found the lion, the mouse found the lion. Let's see what we got over here. Um, Yeme Edemid. Oh yeah, I added a tense. Heshemu Obe. Uh, what is Obe? Oh, oh, through. Okay, so I added um, through the grass. Oh, well, I had here through the park. Okay, let's add that. Obey. See, I was not doing a good, very good QA job now. I'm just making it worse. Um, Eredeb be washeruleth. Okay. Um, the lion woke up and he watched the mouse. So, oops. To wake, to awaken, to wake up. Um, to woke, to to not sleep. Um, get up. What did I use for wake? Uh, to cease to sleep. Hmm. The lion ceased, began to cease to sleep. The, the lion. Yeah, if I just put ceased to sleep, it sounds like this lion was already kind of not, not a asleep but it it said it was sleeping in a previous paragraph or previous sentence um so I might use that 
So we have um, to cease to sleep. Um, that's what the lion did. Oops. Let's say, well, ceased to, I guess, finished, stopped, stopped sleeping. So the lion stopped sleeping and he watched the mouse. You can say C, L, um, B, Ed, Mid, F. So, Earl no, no, Hana, Rosherol, e, Elbe, Edemedeth. Um, okay. Okay, the mouse says, please don't eat me. That's a request. We need a uh, speech act morpheme. So, here's your request. Oh, please. Yob is eat. So, Yobra. Neleth, I guess him. Uh, don't eat me. Um, do, 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 just to make sure. Yod, eat, eat not you, me, the object. Cried the mouse. De. Edimid. Um, we could say say the mouse. Let's see if cry has anything. Cry, not set of babies. Delish, not delish. Eh? Did I use that? I did. To cry. Delish. Eh? I might also do like say and then use um, one of these or something like in fear. De ya. Said the mouse. But. I guess that works. Okay, the mouse cried that, did that. If you permit me to leave, then one day I could help you. Okay, if then statements are kind of annoying. I don't use them a lot, so let me figure out where I have that in my grammar. I'm gonna go in here. If then. Uh, Bre, ebre. Okay. If you permit me to leave, blah, then I can help you one day. So that's a lot. Let's uh just break it down. So permit um if you allow interface to interface to a spouse um, Permission. Uh, okay. Um, if you let me to let toilet to let fall head up. Mm, here's a little hypothetical wood might. If you would, so I guess we can have that tense. Really, really. If you would copulate with me, lion. No. Um. Hmm. What did I use there? We have. Oh, I didn't even use bread. Bre. What is dothod? If you enable me or make possible or easy. I guess that could work. If you enable me, so we need 
if you enable me to leave, which is shod. And I also, shod is both come and go, so you have to add um, a marker. If you allow me to leave, so usually to say like to go, I'll put it from here. So here. No, and then de I think is the um, source marker. Remember de and de source. Okay. If you enable, if you enable me to go from here, uh, which is also what I had here. Oh. Hmm. Um, okay, I did put the two verbs together because usually, like, if it's I want to go, we'd put want nede and then go shad. Um, so if you permit to go, me. Hmm. I might have to think about that. Uh, Ebre, then I could help you. One day I could help you. I, I did use Revele there too. I guess that kind of goes better there. Then one day I can help you. Den, le, nef. Le, nef. Um,. Okay, don't. I might edit this to have that. Which, let me just open up. Where's this one? My mouse. Nope, not that. That's the file we need. Because we definitely probably want that bre ebre part. Um. Okay. If you permit me hmm, I'm really not sure. I could um embed a sentence, which is also a pain in the butt. Um, let me go back. Embedding statements. If you permit that, I leave. Um, so, dothadne and then this would be the thing permitted. Uh, shad le nude, and then the he marker goes at the end. And that might work. So if you per if you permit me leave from here, that might work better. Then. Hypothetically, one day, hypothetically, I could help you. Um, let's do that. So I'll change the sentence in the actual version that I did. Um, let's change this to if, then, is bre, ebre. Ebre and embedded sentence if you permit I leave from here so add that as a footnote yay LaTeX and footnotes and making things look nice okay 
so that was useful so far. I mean, this might be super boring for you, or maybe it'll be interesting. We'll do let's translate thingies instead of let's plays. Okay. Um, the lion laughed and asked, uh, where's this? Let's see, to laugh. Again, we'll do arrow. Ada Roche rule eh, to ask me 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 not me not me 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 uh, sorry adjusting okay how in what manner would a small mouse help me so we have a manner marker. Mm. And let me also open up the who, what, when, why, where part of the grammar reference, which we can use bippa. Um, so let's see. How can you help me? Nal is the manner marker. Bippa nal. So we'll use the that manner marker. So, you help me how? Um, din ne, you help me how? Which is literally just what that example sentence is. Maybe that I updated, <laughs> maybe I updated this uh, when I was doing this earlier. Um, oh, and we need the question marker. Let's see if this is what this sits here. Uh, Ado Roche rule, M M B. I'm just putting me. Ba did ne let be ba no. Yeah, okay. I'm also gonna update this text. I'm gonna add some more Everills because I feel like it's more appropriate. Um, really, really. You may. You may. Stuff, stuff, stuff. I'm not going to add it to everything. But. I guess that's okay. Okay. Well, we are maybe halfway through this translation. I hope you are still enjoying yourself. Okay. But he allowed the mouse to leave. So we'll use the enable verb again. It, well, let's just copy a lot of this. Uh, dothad. So to permit. So, uh, third person, he permitted. And we'll change this la to the mouse. Add the mid. So he permitted that the mouse leave um, from there. Maybe update that here too. Let's see. Ish dothad. Yeah, we'll update that. Okay. Um, later, the mouse went running through the grass. So this is weird because it'll be later, but also past tense. Uh, hmm. I could say Avril and Evil. I don't know. I didn't know if I even accounted for that in the translation. I just put Avril. Um, is there a word for then? After? Sometime? No, Abra. Then. And then. Id. I guess we could do that. That sounds a little better. And we can add a footnote to that too. Id. <laughs> uh, let's see. Footnote. Id equals and then. Okay. Then the mouse was running through the grass and she found the lion. Wait, we just did that already. Uh, the mouse ran through the grass and found the lion. So we'll just copy that. Run mouse grass through and found 
the lion. Okay, the... let me double check this one. Copy the same stuff. But now I have an update. Yay. Um, I'm, oh yeah, I'm getting rid of Aro. Because we want to kind of keep the same tints. Uh, the lion was under a net. So I think that there wasn't a word for net. I had to make up a word. So in my notes, I called it a note, a rope bag. Uh, no word for gutter cage. Rope, blanket, bag. Method de mod. I might have just merged those. Why did I do that? Method de, de mod. I just kind of put those together. I think it says in the grammar book you can just put them together. I think. I don't. I read this stuff and it's not like it's not like I have everything memorized. Um, the lion was under a net. So, um, under. Underwear. The lion was wearing underwear. The lion was under. To be under. As a verb. That's easy. The lion was under. Rule. Rope. Under a rope bag. Method. Bag. Demode. I think you can literally, they're two, they both, it ends with a D and starts with a D. I think you can just smush them together. Under, <coughs> I guess that would be the object. And he could not leave. He could not, can, um, to be able. Odd, raw. I don't know if get out is a word. Yeah, so we'll just say, could not leave, oops, dang it, could not leave from there, shod, nude, could not, or, mm, I would say get out, get out of a thing. Get out from under the the rope bag. I mean, you could say could not leave the rope bag. Could not escape the rope bag. Nope. Um. Could not open the rope bag. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave it as shod. New day. Could not leave from there. Uh, let's see what I have last from last time. Yo, no shiru. Method de mod. Ethad ra shad be. And could not leave from the rope bag. Um, oh, let me also make it there instead of here. Uh, come on. No. No day. Okay. Um, so I kind of like this better. I feel like... Uh, I feel like that was too much. Method. Demod. Get out. Leave from the net. Uh, leave from there. And of course, this is all on Bitbucket. If you want to go change it, you can. Um, and make a pull request. Okay, let's look at this. And the mouse continually bit the net. So we have a continue marker. Mouse. Um, we have 
have repeatedly, what we have to continue to or to repeat to. So, do we have a bite? Do you bite? Well, there's a word for to caress with teeth, so there's probably a word for bite. The mouse, uh, and a mid, bite, to continue, to repeat. Uh, I'll put repeatedly bit the net, um, which is this word. Maybe need an easier word if we're gonna start writing about nets more often. And it broke. Let's see, to break. Then. And then the net broke. Uh, so we have medashol yeah, yeah, okay, pretty much the same. I'm gonna change this out again though. Beep, boop. The mouse said, "You laughed when I promised to help." So, did add mid. Let's add Errol in there for good measure. I don't know. I don't know. The mouse said, "You laughed when I promised to help." To laugh. You laughed. I don't know. When, but a certain type of when. We need like a witch for. I know there's one entry for one of these. But when oh, I sing when I work, you laughed when I did a thing. Bella lomla with a with a ha. When I promise to help. When I promised when promise to help then le well, let's just do this and make it past tense. You laughed at me when I promised to help. But be I don't know with a half beddy then le ish. Oops, I forgot the H. Actually, that's like the same, isn't it? Well, my brain works like it generally does, whether it's six months apart or whatever. I guess. Okay, in teaching, I say so. This is the mouse now making a statement. Um, be and teaching bed. A mouse can help a lion. Uh, it's to be able. Bad. To be able to help mouse and the mid roche rouleth. Where it is self evident. I've been using a lot of different of um markers. Which actually I should probably put one in here. Um You pro you laughed. I know it to be true because I perceived it. You laughed. Um would it be self-evident if they both experienced it? Let's put wah. Um, bed. Bad. Wait. It just says the mouse helps the lion. So we could say, ah, uh, bad. The mouse is able to help the lion. Okay, and then I changed the moral. I made it la dami, so I said loving kindness is not a waste. Um, so that here, rahol ra. So probably the word waste. Rahol 
raw, not a waste, and then Donna Dunn. Loving kindness. Loving kindness is not a waste. Okay, so that is this one here. And it has the English translation. Um, yeah, so I might update these more as I keep going through them, but this is just a PDF document of some of the things I've translated. I need to update this URL. It's not there anymore. Um, I keep everything on Bitbucket now. Actually, let's go to the main page. Let's go to Bitbucket down here. Excuse me. And we keep the Ladon library which just has a bunch of random crap. And if you want to contribute, um, well, if you don't know how to use Bitbucket, you can ask me and I'll help. If you do know how to use Bitbucket, you can make a pool request with, with the requests. And yeah, so it's just open source stuff. I'm gonna make a commit here. Um, I'm gonna show you how you, you don't have to do it this way if you're updating it, if you're not a programmer, but um, updated lion and the mouse. So I'm making changes, I'm pushing it to the repository, and then you can view all of the commits made over time. So um, there's just a lot of unfinished projects in here right now. So I can go here, I can view what has changed over time. Um, the different file updates, stuff like that. And I'll link to the this, but you can also get to it on the Iodon website. If you go to the Ladon page here and go down to, not archive, but links. So I have the I don't have it linked. Well, I'll add it to the links. You can also get to it through the um, the Bitbucket. But I need to update this anyway to have like a more of a library area. Sometimes I just wish like we could like design websites like back in the 90s where we kind of like made it seem like actual structures and stuff like here's an actual library click on the book to read the book that's not very accessible though um, but yeah so there's we did a translation we QA'd my old translation hopefully that was interesting to watch I'm gonna go eat some cake or some food and dance around maybe okay have a good night or a good day whatever time of day it is bye